looking at the trajectory map, Falcon 9 continues to go right along the planned path, heading east from Cape Canaveral into the first of two orbits planned for this evening. Now currently, we're planning to burn that upper stage engine for just about another three and a half minutes. We may also hear callouts in a little more than a minute of entry burn. The first stage, as I mentioned, will go through the pre-programmed re-entry and landing sequence, but there's no drone ship stationed out in the stormy Atlantic to be able to catch the first stage. Coming up on six minutes into flight, we've got another just over two and a half minutes to go on the second stage engine. Very quiet on the net. Falcon 9 second stage with the ISPASAT satellite attached, performing nominally as we head downrange from Cape Canaveral. Currently second stage uh, will be accelerating up to about 4 Gs. As a reminder, the ISPASAT 30W6 satellite as Elon has tweeted out, is massing over six metrics tons. That's over 6,000 kilograms. And that is the largest geostationary satellite we've ever flown. Given the size, is you... You heard entry burn start in the background here. As I mentioned, going through the pre-programmed sequence. Shut down of stage one on the entry burn. That'll leave its landing burn coming up in about a minute and a half. Second stage continuing to run. Everything looking good on stage two. Seven and a half minutes into flight. The glowing nozzle on the upper stage engine, that's expected. Shows the engine's running just like we uh, want it to be. We've got cameras on the back of the second stage giving us these live views. We're about a minute away from Seco, second stage engine cutoff number one. That will leave us in a parking orbit. Once we get engine shutdown, we'll wait for the guidance engineer to confirm that we have a good orbit. Vehicle is in terminal guidance. 